Fussy, eh? Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think he'd have the stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No? Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss orders aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yuld are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Family's lost it for good, and the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover, but Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. 
They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. None of this dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. They theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. 
Afraid that's impossible. Succeed, and that's the end of me. Fail, and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. <clears throat> You'll choke to death on three pounds of steam. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent.
So long. Nice old grandma. Has she got a black cat? She has. Dark horse? 